Hello everybody, my name is Kiwi McGuire. And if you are watching this video, it is for anybody, if you have Norwex already and you've forgotten how to use it, whether you are brand new, you have received a borrow bag from me or you have received our samples in the mail, okay? So this is for you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use these cloths, the power of them, how easy to remove up to 99% of bacteria with just the cloth and water. No need for toxic chemicals, just need these. All right, so first I'm gonna show you the full size cloth and how it works. And the same goes true, oops, I dropped it. <laughs> the same goes true for our sample size. So what I've done here is I have cut one of our full size cloth into this nice size piece. So this should give you a really good um, taste to how powerful these cloths are. And of course you will eventually wanna get this full size cloth because you have so much more to use and, um, and it will go much further throughout your house. All right, so a few notes. First is, you get this cloth as our Enviro cloth. They have the name on the tag. Okay, so if you have a full size cloth, you can look at the cloth tag and say, oh, it says Enviro cloth. If you have a sample, these come in a variety of colors. So you might have gotten a, a champagne colored one, this aqua one, a graphite one. So you're gonna be able to tell by the thickness of this weave, it looks like this. The window polishing cloth is like this, and you're probably gonna get this in either pink or purple, so think. P for polish. All right, so here we go. When you take this cloth, the most important thing when you start, get it wet, and you're gonna fold it into fours like this, okay? This gives you eight clean surfaces to clean, um, to clean anything in your home. You're not gonna wanna scrunch it up because when you scrunch it, you're not getting a all overall contact with the surface so it's gonna be less effective. Whereas if you have it flat, it's going to have all this area to grab. Now, after you use the cloth, you're gonna rinse it out and hang it to dry. So if you have the full size, you're gonna hang it using the hang tag. If you have one of the travel size, find somewhere in your home where you can set this cloth on top so that it gets air and is allowed to thoroughly dry because our silver will have a chance to go to work. It's called backlock. So you want the silver to be able to activate and do its job so the cloth does not get stinky, moldy, and mildewy. Now I'm gonna show you how well these cloths work. So fold it into fours, it's damp. I have smeared peanut butter on the granite. So whether you're cleaning up a big job or something little here like a spill and after you've done cleaning, so again, flat, you are just going to go like that and it's squeaky clean. So when I'm cleaning my granite at night, I go like this, very simple swipe down. And then I take my polishing cloth and I polish the surface dry. Okay, that's gonna ensure a streak free shine. You don't have to worry about any lint particles left behind, any chemical residue. It is squeaky clean, but this is not all. Okay, what I challenge you guys to do when you first get your cloths, smear some butter on a window or peanut butter on a granite. Use this damp, wipe down your stainless steel, polish it dry with that polishing cloth. You are going to be amazed. You can use it on your stove top, you can use it in your bathrooms, on your mirrors, on your faucet. So go around the faucets and get that area. On the bathtub, like I said, microwave right there. On the outside, in the inside, on the inside of the refrigerator, use this. And when you're done, every time, rinse it, nice warm water, give it some agitation, rub it against itself, wring it out really well, and hang it to dry somewhere, okay? So that that silver can go to work. All right, and if you've received samples from me, my challenge for you, take a picture before and after. Do those windows, clean your blinds, do something, take a picture, and share it with me in the group. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.